Good morning, good afternoon. Hello, this is F Food Talk TV, FTTV for short. My name is Gluten Free Mama, and today we are making some buffalo chicken bites. Making. We are also going to be making a baked rainbow trout. Everybody, good morning, everybody. This is our friend Lori. Good morning, Lori. <laughs> good morning. I don't know if you can hear me. Can you, can you hear, hear me? me? Can you hear me? Yeah, I had to turn up my volume. <laughs> okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome in. Welcome in. Welcome in. Everybody's coming in. We're fixing our camera here. We're getting ready to roll. All right, y'all. We're we making buffalo chicken. Making a buffalo chicken bites. So, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna start with the buffalo chicken bites first. I saw a commercial that Sonic had buffalo chicken bites that look kind of like the empanadas that I made. So, I'm going to try to do it myself. And we're gonna put them in the air fryer. And we got, for that we have um, pie crust, already pre-made pie crust. I don't have shredded cheese, but we're gonna use cream cheese, Parmesan cheese. I got some crushed black pepper. And you can use either ones of these, y'all. The hot sauces? The hot sauces. It's buffalo sauce. We got Frank's and then this Kinder. Kinder, it seems to be the it flavoring right now. They're really, all the stores are really pushing Kinder. Kinder is gluten free. Do I have to subscribe in order to see? No, you, you can um, see. She can see me. Yeah, it's not, it's not subscription only. Yeah. Uh, she just, she's just off the camera. Yeah, she's just off the camera, Debs. Um, so handcrafted by obsessed with quality. I mean, it looks pretty good, I think, you know. All right, we got more people in here. So, so what you're going to do is you're going to buy a rotisserie. You can bake your chicken if you want to. But if you're like me, you like to buy rotisserie chicken for absolutely everything. Now, this was in the fridge overnight, so we're going to put it in the microwave for a few minutes, okay? We're going to slam it in there and just heat it up a little bit. It doesn't take long, it's just so it'll be easier. Are they just looking at my picture or you? Yeah, yeah, just, just leave it, yeah. Hi, just like Granny! Uh, just like Granny, wake up Kaz. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, so you need to make sure your cream cheese is hot. Okay. So. It's okay. It's okay. Lori just has a picture. It's okay. Everybody's freaking out over a picture. So. How about now? Yeah, she's okay. Okay. So. Uh, I'm going to soften up some cream cheese here. We can, we can add more as we go. I'm going to do some Parmesan cheese. If we can open this, going to use some Parmesan cheese. Going to use some buffalo sauce. We're going to mix it up in the mixer. Okay. Going to mix it up in the mixer. There! Are you guys happy now? Goodness. <laughs> Everybody's freaking out over a picture. Okay. So I'm just going to open it this way and just add just a little bit there. Um, it's really strong. Yeah, I have a question. He's, he's really strong. I wonder if I... Uh, ketchup is garbage wants to hop in here. But it's really strong. Okay. Um, ketchup is garbage. You want to hop in here? So Lori doesn't, so Lori doesn't like to. No, so, I have a question though. I heard if you add ketchup to hot sauce, that it, that it cools the hot, the heat down. Is that true? You know, I've never heard such a thing. 
Okay. Okay. So then just go you mix it up just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just see if it'll start softening some. And it's not going to soften some. So it's just going to mix it up just a little bit. Okay, we're trying to let that stuff get a little bit softer. Now, I love I your mixer. could use sharp cheddar cheese instead. Um, I don't have that. I have pieces of cheese. So we're going to shred our chicken. If you guys, if you guys, is that Rick? Just Rick. Yep. And, and if you guys know that I like my rotisseries, heat it up for just a few minutes because it makes it easier to peel. It's hot. It takes off the bone. So we're gonna deep hard our chicken. You can bake a couple chicken breasts. You can boil some chicken breasts, whatever. But I know that if you bake chicken or buy a rotisserie chicken, it will, uh, you know, it has more flavor. Make sense? Because you know, sense. these rotisserie chickens are like literally soaked with flavor and it smells good too just rick chicken all right so we got chicken in the building we got mustard queen in the building if 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 lori wants to hop off thank you lori i love you lori love you too <laughs> all right mustard queen my friend my Hi, Mustard Queen and I got to see each other this weekend, and she is absolutely adorable. You're so much fun, and you came on a very chaotic day, so you like really got to meet me, you know, not like a, you know. <laughs> but you know what, though? I'm presenting myself to you. No, you got to meet the real deal. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Linda. You're so amazing. Thank you, Linda. I feel uh, so loved with all the roses. Huh? You guys a little story this mustard queen can cook okay her husband can cook they're both extremely creative human beings you gotta love them okay oh uh, it All was right. so much fun to meet you <laughs> and i so right now i am shredding a chicken because i saw a commercial about a month ago about sonic's buffalo chicken bites and 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 i am going to make my own version of buffalo chicken. Yes, we're going to you be are feeling that craving. I get some of my best recipes just by like, this is the thing I'm craving. I got to make it happen. Yeah. And you know, sometimes when I'm really feeling like I wish I could be going out to a fancy dinner or something, I just look at menus and be like, let's see if I can replicate that. <laughs> yeah. You know, just to get your fix. Oh, oh so you're so, shredding up the chicken. Uh, oh, is it rotisserie? It's a rotisserie. I, you know, you just buy it for like six bucks at the store. Some people like to use canned chicken. Well, guess what? Canned chicken lovers, this is cheaper. It's wild how much cheaper it is just to get a rotisserie chicken rather than just like buying a chicken and making it yourself. Like, and even if it was like a dollar more expensive to buy the rotisserie, you're saving all that time. Yeah. Time is money. Time is money. Oh, and the buffalo sauce. sauce. Yes. Money is time. Yeah, we're going to shred it, baby. Yes. Oh. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to mix cream cheese, Parmesan, because I don't have cheddar, and um, some salt and pepper. I put a little bit of buffalo sauce in there, and we're going to roll with it, and we're going to do it in the air fryer. Oh, yes. It took me a while to get into the air fryer. Yeah, it's gonna take a good minute to put in the air fryer. But you know, some people like to bake this stuff. That's fine. If you're if you're a single person and don't have anybody else to cook for, and freeze these and just take one out at a time, and you know, lay them just wake up, y'all. Hi there. They they don't have they don't have school yet. Until really? Hopefully. They just started this week here. They they were they started Wednesday, but they're having a busing issue, so they're not starting yet. Thank you, Linda. 
Liam is so tall. Yeah. He gets taller wow. every day. It's ridiculous. I mean, all right. Let's move this puppy in the trash. Liam, do you want to no, use the mixer? No. Liam's going to use the mixer, you guys. Yes. Okay, so okay. my I'm also going to be making a Why rainbow trout. What is this going to do to the chicken? It's going to shred it. Yeah. Oh, well, that's kind of... Let's do, do it slowly, Liam. You're getting it everywhere, buddy. There you go. He's helping. He is helping. And that's one of my favorite tricks for shredded chicken is to just use a processor or a hand mixer. It's like, it's just, it's just so much easier. Yeah. My mom taught it to me. And then, and then she would be like, quit doing it all the time. Well, it's easier. Yeah, it is. Y'all, if you're just scrolling through, welcome to Food Talk TV. We go live every single day. If you miss this live or you want to rewatch it, we will have it posted on YouTube and Facebook. So be sure you're following us there. Also, follow us here. We go live every single day. My show's tomorrow night at 7 p.m. We have a different creator on all the time. So thanks for tuning in. Are shaking. Okay. Okay. Are we got our chick. Look how nice and shredded that is. Oh, yeah. Took no time. Hi, Linda. We see you. If you guys haven't followed Linda already, she's part of our FTTV agency. If you want to be a part of our TikTok live agency, uh, go to www.fttvcreators.com. I want you. Liam wants to. You got to be 18. 16. 18. So, everybody makes this up. Makes oh, this yes. Up. So what all you got in there? The cream cheese and the hot sauce? We got cream cheese. I put a little bit of, I use, yeah, I got this to try this out. All right. And then, of course, you know, everybody could use this if they want. Of course, yes. Now, this, I tasted it. It is very um, hot. Yeah. So definitely take it easy on putting that in there. Okay. Yeah, the cream cheese will lighten it up, though, so it's going to be less spicy than what it is on its own, but, of course, measure to your preference, because everyone has a different heat tolerance. It's very much so an acquired yeah, thing. So, it's... Could use some more. Definitely could use some more. Oh, yes. Ugh. This must be, like, a like new It brand, because... I've seen it everywhere at the stores, or maybe it's just a new brand, but I don't really see people using it much on here. What is the brand called? Kinders. I feel like I've seen the bottle, but I don't know if I've purchased from them before. Yeah. I got some barbecue sauce from them back around 4th of July. Oh, right on. I try. I have to try so hard to not buy sauces, though, because, you know, my entire thing being Mustard Queen and everything, so people will just send sauces my way. So, like, and plus my content is I make sauces, so. Yeah. I don't particularly buy a whole ton, but I do yeah, get envious. I get. Sauce. It looks so good. Ketchup is garbage. Yeah, well, okay. not all sauces are created equal. Yeah, she's just like Taylor Swift. <laughs> same name, same area. So, um, what are we... Are you from Nashville? Hmm? I am from Nashville, yeah. yeah. Well, I met Taylor Swift. Oh, no, she's not. She moved to Nashville when she was like 13 or 14 or something. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think... Pennsylvania, because like whenever she goes into Philly, they also claim you know, Taylor Swift in Philly. See how, see how good this. Yes, I mean, and just that filling you can do with so many things. You can fill so many things with that. You can do the three breader situation to deep fry. It looks like you got pie crust. What are you doing with pie crust there? I'm going to make like bites with it that look kind of like empanadas. Oh yes, I love that. 
I love that. But really, you could use that filling for anything. You could even use that filling in jalapenos. Since you and I are on a jalapeno bite kick. Man, I love me some jalapenos. Me too. Anytime we have the smoker on. We're throwing. Just whenever you get a moment, do you think you can move your recipe card? It's just kind of in front of your face. But also, I want to see the food, so I'm not sure where a good spot would be. Ooh, bourbon peach does sound delicious. Yes. I only, you gotta yeah, that, no, that's perfect. He wants to show everybody his pride. He's so fun. He's showing everything. Okay, move it, baby. He's got uh, perfect, Jay. Now that I now I can see your face. Okay, Sam's gonna roll the dust. Are the Pomo Chef? Thank you so much. I can. Thank you for the heart. I never feel like my finger hearts are that great. Like, I think mine are defective. You're That's my, defective. I don't know. Mine look more like pretzels. Oh really? Yeah, mine looks like pretzels. <laughs> yeah. Why does everyone else's look like a heart and mine just looks like a peanut? <laughs> I gotta be in the camera with you. If you're gonna be in the camera. Thank you for the love. We appreciate it. And if you're just sitting here watching her roll out her dough because she's gonna be making little bites with buffalo chicken, if you're just sitting here not sure what to do with your hands, just tap the screen. Tap, 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 tap. I feel like I'll tell this story just about every time I talk about tapping the screen, though. It was so funny when my sister realized that like you could do more than one singular tap. And she would tune into my lives all the time. So I thought it was so funny whenever she would show up and I had like 20K likes that she actually thought 20,000 people were liking my stuff. It was so cute. Oh, that was a finger pair. Thank you, mister. Nice to see ya. Hey, but finger pair. We got 50% of the like goal. Yes. I love that. I don't even know. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, Jeff is in the building. Come on. Oh, did we get it? Yeah. Mr. Chef, okay. We got so it. I have this yeah. Thing here. Look, it's just perfect. Is that? Oh, noise going on over there. Is that like a little cookie cutter that you're using? I to cut things? Maker. Oh, nice. I love repurposing those kind of things. Yes. Because oftentimes I'll use like the a mason jar or something. It's just silly to buy a, something for being a circle. <laughs> okay. Okay. It says gold achieved. It, it, it appeared on click. Okay. Here you go. Good job, Liam. Yeah. So, um, Liam, go get the air fryer. Okay. It's in the cabinet. So we're going to make these and then we're going to, um, do our fish and That's then we're going to make some more of these. All right. So we're going to have Liam roll these out again. Oh yes. Here you go, bud. I don't know what I would do if it wasn't for those pie crusts and like the canned biscuits and stuff like that for these type of appetizers. I don't know what I would do because making it homemade. Yes, it's amazing, but doesn't make that much of a difference for several hours of work. Don't know what I would do. You know, I like using canned biscuits. So oh, I me too. Yeah, I got my trout here. Trout. Oh yeah. Trout, trout, let it all out. Trout, trout, let it all out. Yes. Please stop. Turn that off. But see if we could maybe get two out of here. I don't know. Oh, I don't yeah. think we can. We can make one out of it. We can make one, I guess. I, I got it, girl, girl. Okay. Yeah, he's got it. He's got it. He's being so good today. Yes. I'm older now. I'm You're older now? Older. You're older today? All right. So. You know, I should start saying my day like that. Like, I'm older than I was yesterday. I'm better than that. I'm 10 now. He's 10. His birthday was on the second, you guys. Oh, right. Oh, double digits. digits. Double digits. It's all downhill from here now. Go get me an egg. Um, 
So she's got some buffalo chicken pie bites that she's making, and she's also doing a rainbow, a baked rainbow trout. There is the recipe card up there, but if you have all the, if you don't have a clear screen, it may be hidden behind stuff. Everyone says happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Wait! I'm gonna show you. You're going to put it in here. How many eggs? I just need one. Okay. Okay, but we don't want the yolk. Do you know how to do that? I'm sorry, what? Okay, get another egg and I'll show you how to do this, okay? You just you just don't let the yolk out. I get another egg. Okay. We're gonna do egg white wash on these two. I like the fancy glassware for the egg white wash. Like, I think that presentation is important in all stages of this process. I love that. That's a really neat glass, too. Liam, you got the shell. Is there yeah. Oh hey, you know what? Like, I still get the shell in there sometimes, you know? It's practice, 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 but you'll still get shell in there most days. <laughs> practice makes perfect. Okay, well, Liam, you're getting shells literally everywhere. Shut the cabinet! You shut the cabinet. Look at that. Sure. <laughs> right, get a knife. I mean, get a fork and, and, and stir that. Oh Watch out. Get a fork. Okay, so now so my husband's are. in the process of taking out a lot of our cabinet doors so we can restain them, but he's adding like the slow closing hinges because I am so one to leave the cabinet doors open. Just stir it to make it nice and liquidy. You know, you could probably make this into a dip. Oh, absolutely. It can be a dip. You can stuff them in. Um, you could even just use like little pie crusts like in cupcake tins and uh, have little pies. There's so many ways you can do with that filling. I love it. I like the empanada style though. Yeah, we're gonna do a name. Get the air fryer, please. All right, so. And you know, I've even oh, done something yeah. like this with those pie crusts, but then I'll throw it into a uh, thing of boiling water with baking soda. So that way it becomes pretzel. Oh. Uh, I'm sure, like, couldn't you, could you boil it? Yeah, you just, um, you get a pot of water with some baking soda. I don't know the proportions off the top of my head because I always just dump baking soda in my boiling water. And you just dunk it in there for like 30 seconds and then let it bake. And that's how you pretzel things. But I do that with pie crust a lot. I also do that with uh, pizza dough. Oh, okay. So, but very versatile dip. I mean, it, it is essentially a dip. Oh, yes, and you got the fork impressions. Fork, yeah. Fork, yeah. Fork, yeah. Yeah, baby. Mr. says his son is Liam, too, so that's a good name all around. Cool kids are named Liam. Wait, I got to finish doing this. I don't know if they can see me. You can. Okay, well, just wait. Where did you get that glass that you have the egg wash in? I don't know. My mom had a whole bunch of them. They're like, honestly, I think they're like ice cream bowls. Yeah, it looks like it got stolen out of a 50s diner. It probably is from the 50s, to be honest. Do we yes. even have ice cream? Wait. Liam! So just oh, it's a sherbet bowl. I just, okay, empanada style, because we're not using wontons, okay. I like the difference. I love the, I love being like very pedantic with my wording sometimes, so I appreciate that correction. <laughs> wontons. Yeah, yeah well, because it's more like empanada style and not an empanada because it's not wonton wrapper. Yeah. I, I love being very picky about wording like that. I love it. Rick and I would get along just fine. Yeah.
Okay, I don't have a brush. I guess, you know, I, I guess I could. Hey, your fingers brush. work. Your fingers are the most useful tool in the kitchen, I think. And in other places. They're useful for every place out there. What are you doing? I'm going to get myself okay, some ice cream in the egg wash. I'm not. Okay, watch out. I'm going to put this in the air fryer. Okay, watch out. All right. So... Let's, right let's get a spray. So yeah, she, used, um, she used a patty presser. Like it's a circle thing to make um, burger patties out of, but she used that as her stencil for circles. And so then she filled the circles and folded them in the half moon shapes. And then the rest of the dough, she rolled out and did that again. So circles. What's that? Ghee? Spray ghee? Oh, and that's awesome. And gluten-free baking spray. Oh, nice. But I'm using Pam. Is the pie crust gluten free? No. Okay. So I guess it's about time for me to tell the audience, hey, this is gluten free mama. <laughs> Be sure you're following her page, but she's on here Wednesdays to do her show. I'm so sorry. What is your show called? My show is called Gluten Free with Mama Ann. Gluten Free with Mama Ann. Here we are making not gluten free, but it's okay to have a variety of stuff and they do sell and you can make gluten free pie crust too. But the dip itself, the filling is gluten free. All right. Air crisp. Uh, Let's put it in for five minutes and see what happens. This is I, I like that. <laughs> put it in for five minutes and let's see what happens. Because, I mean, even if you're following a recipe exactly how it is and they tell you five minutes, y'all don't have the same air fryer. You're not at the same altitude. You didn't use the same ingredients. Like, it's going to vary. All right, y'all. I want everybody to tell us what state they live in. Okay? Yes. Okay? I want to know where you're from. I'm in Tennessee. Hello. By the way, Andrea, I know I talk a lot. The code word to get me to stop is shut up, Taylor. I like you talking. Okay, cool. Oh, right, we got so a West Virginia. We're going to get some okay. ready for our uh, fish. Trout, trout, let it all out. Trout, trout, let it all out. Repping Cal or rep in Florida, and then we got live in California, but from Kentucky or not Kentucky, Connecticut. The words in my head. Your opinion wasn't part of the recipe. Love it. I love that. I really did. Was I really was thinking Connecticut? Please. Okay, so Arizona, Virginia, all over the place. So we're gonna we're gonna chop us up some fresh dill. All right. No, dill. Yes. <laughs> Is he, does he like pickles? That probably was the reason for that. <laughs> Discuss. I think it was more so being dramatic. Oh, oh, I understand that too. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna chop us up some dill. If you guys wanna follow along, you can go on our website. There's Kenji. You can go on our okay. website. There's a lady that, oh, okay. At, um, Kenji, what's up? TV.com, and there you'll see the recipe. Oh, I like that. I like that you had it pulled up. Already there, but are we gonna have a different picture once you're, um, cause that's a different photo? Yeah, we're gonna use a different picture. Okay. What the deal is? What the deal is? What is a dilly? The dilly. What is the deal? It's not what ideal. Is Kaz is MIA. That's what the deal is. <laughs> All right. So, um, I love dill. I love fresh dill, but once it turns into seeds, that's when it like starts tasting like pickles, and I hate that. Okay. What are you doing with the dill? I like fresh dill on it. 
All right, so we chopped up our seven dill. You know, the recipe says two tablespoons, but if you know me, you know I do my own thing. Right. <laughs> All right, we got some fresh parsley. Ew. This has been washed, because I washed it. This isn't parsley, this is cilantro. I'm not going to lie, there's been a couple of times where I just didn't look at it and I was just blindly grabbing one, either a parsley or cilantro and I've swapped them. And I like to think I know what I'm talking about and I've done that before. So if you do it, just know that the Mustard Queen has done it as well. <laughs> yeah, and you know, this is, I'm just ripping stuff apart here. Yeah. We're gonna make like a paste for the fish. Oh, okay. With our seasonings and olive oil. And then we're gonna wipe oh. down on our fish, okay? And then after we wipe it down on our fish, we're gonna add some lemons in there. We're gonna add some lemon juice in there. Okay, so here's some parsley. We're gonna keep adding more. You can never have enough parsley. No. It just adds a nice little freshy, just a little, well, I don't know a word for this, this motion I'm doing, but that's what parsley does. <laughs> yeah, you just, you know, just a little bit of freshiness. Yeah. Freshy, freshy. Yes. Let's have some fresh. So. If you guys haven't already, if you're watching us up on our YouTube channel, please click that subscribe button. If you're watching us on Facebook, don't forget to click follow. Okay, let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. They're not ready yet. And while you're out there just following people, I'm ketchup is garbage all on the platforms. <laughs> Oh, and thank you for the share. We appreciate it. Sharing this live does help Al Gore with his rhythm. So does liking and gifting and commenting and all that. If you don't have a friend you can share it to, you can share it to anyone in Food Talk. We share stuff all the time. Sharing is caring. Or you can just copy the link. That works the same. Sharing, Parsley is green paprika. <laughs> sharing every little thing that we are wearing. You know, sister. Sister, you know, you know, on um, on White Christmas. For those who see us, and it comes between us. You know, sister, y'all, I think I scared everybody. All right, Coachy, you're gonna, I, I'm gonna, oh, I could really have a long discussion about parsley being the green paprika, but in short. I'm going to say, okay, because they're both better fresh. Oh, almost 10K. What, what? Y'all are just sitting there, not sure what to do with your hands. Pokey, pokey the screen. Pokey the screen. Pokey the screen. Himalayan salt. It helps Al Gore with his rhythm. Hi, Penny. Mary Poppins. Hey, don't get me started with musicals, okay? Yeah, what you got in your purse? <laughs> Oh, not that kind of Mary Poppins reference. Mary Poppins. Oh, right on. Okay, don't get me started. All right. So we need to add some garlic cloves. So I bought some pre, pre garlic cloves. I like fresh garlic, but whatever, man. I think I, I mean, have if more we're... garlic in my house than I do anything else. I got all kinds of clapping and sharing is caring. So, of course, like fresh garlic is the best, but if you're incapable of getting fresh garlic or anything, those peel, those whole peeled bulbs, I think, are a tier below that. And then I would put garlic powder, and then I would put garlic. Saying something I controversial got, there. I got Mary Poppins in my head. Clean <laughs> it all out. Clean it all out. Just a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. The medicine go down. Now, it says two garlic cloves. 
But you know me, I like <laughs> regular, a whole bunch of garlic because yeah, I don't you know, think I've ever read a recipe and their amount of garlic and been like, yeah, that's perfect for me. No. Never. I think it's like Never. just the starting base. Like you just need at least that much garlic. That's how I read recipes. If you're not in, if you're not into um, seasoning, go ahead, follow the recipe. If you're into seasoning, keep adding more. Just a spoonful of garlic helps the vampires stay away. The vampires. Okay. Let's find us where's the lemons. Oh, have you gotten into black garlic before? Yeah, I think you were telling me about it on Friday. Oh yeah, like I am a, on a little bit of a black garlic kick, but it's um, garlic that's been fermented essentially. So, um, it's just like black. It, so it's basically already a paste. It's just awesome. Huh. If you ever see it, it's expensive. Just give it a try and let me know. Black garlic. Oh, yeah. I'm going to juice one lemon. This is what that looks like. And then you peel it, and it's like a black paste inside, essentially, but it's like fermented garlic. But I spent 16 bucks on this. But anyway, because we're talking about garlic being easy to use, that's why I came up with that. Once again, code word is shut up, Taylor. I like you, Taylor. All right. Well, now you should be able to show up who talk TV. I'm going to do some uh, chives. Because why not mind my own stuff? Chives and some basil. Chives and some basil. Uh, I am loving all the herbs here. Loving it. I love it. I mean, yeah, you can have fish without fresh herbs, but it's better with fresh herbs. It is so much better. Can you see what I'm doing? Sorry, I need coffee. Okay, see what I'm doing. Now, if you want to find this recipe, it's on our website at www.foodtalktv.com. Okay, what is this? You know, what's really cool about the website, too, is if you're kind of, you know, not sure what you're feeling like cooking, you can just put in an ingredient in our search bar, and you'll see all of our recipes that have that ingredient. And I know I've been having conversations with people just like they're aware of how to cook and what to cook, but like... It's the indecisiveness that gets people, you know? So that search function helps. I can't stand indecisive men. <laughs> well, good thing I'm not a man because I'm so indecisive. <laughs> I know, but like, I mean, women, we are indecisive beings. So if a man is indecisive, it's just, it's not a good mix. We Stay could up. do a Food Talk TV musical. Now, would I be a good queen or an evil queen? Oh my goodness, those are beautiful. Ah, that's those are the photos for the magazine. These are beautiful. I did something right today. What did you do right? Now, what would be funny, because, like, we are essentially a channel for food. Oh, that's so beautiful. I'm hungry. I'm going to, I might make those. I have some pie crust. I have pie crust. I might make it. All right. So, we got lemon juice, uh, chives, parsley, um, garlic. We've got parsley. We've got lamb. we got fresh dill. Now I'm going to chop us up some fresh basil. And you know, this mixture that you got going on would be perfect on any fish. It doesn't have to be rainbow trout. Like, that is just some pretty solid fish work there. Yeah. Yeah. Who doesn't love fresh basil? Uh, it's got to be cooked in, like, pizza or pasta sauce. Ooh. 
Fresh base. You know, and I was at the, I was at Walmart yesterday because I had a gift card and I was buying groceries and I could not find basil to save my life. And I was so upset about it. And then they had a basil plant for $3. Hmm. And it's beautiful. Love it. Gotta love Basil's it. Basil's my favorite. Just the smell of it. Be careful because those little plants, they die quick. Oh, oh, um, I, I got plans for them. I got plans. Cause like it's one of those plants that you can like cut the top of it off and put it in a container of water and you can propagate it. So I'm going to have a lot of basil plants when I'm done. The average amount of views these wives get, um, it varies and a lot of it has to do with the app itself. So it different times of the day affects the life different. So. All right, so I want to mix this up. This one's pretty well. Until like a so bad, Yes. Y'all, if you're just scrolling through, welcome to Food Talk TV. We go live every day with food content. We also have all sorts of creators in our agency. So if you like to go live or you would want to go live, you can become part of our agency. Just go to fttv.com. And you can submit a video and let us know. We are the fastest growing agency out there right now. But right now, this is Gluten Free Mama Ann making rainbow trout. I am so excited for this herby paste you got going on. I'm pretty excited. And y'all, this is not the prettiest thing. Well, that's why you're dressing it up with some herbs. Oh, thank you for the heart me, which I am... I have finger pairs. I don't have a finger heart. I have finger pairs. <laughs> Is it good? Like, does it smell bad? No, it just looks bad. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. I just wanted to make sure because if your fish does smell bad, always toss it. Yeah. Like a little bit of fishiness is fine, but if you're like, oh, this smells bad, then. So let's. Oh, yes. And this recipe is already on the website, foodtalktv.com. Be sure to check that out right now. That's a dummy photo, and she's going to replace that. And if you want to rewatch the live, it will be on YouTube and Facebook, so be sure you're following us there. And also follow me, because I make a lot of content about mustard, and then I go live. And then um, I also go, I'm also on um, Food Talk TV Thursday nights. She is. Ooh. Maybe one day her husband will show us how to smoke some meat. Oh, yeah, that would be fun. So that would be like a 14-hour um, adventure. You know, I have thought about this before, though, about how a lot of things I like to do are longer than an hour, and that's kind of how long our shows are. And I've thought about making the starting point content and then finishing it up for a live show. <laughs> like, oh, if you want to see the ending, catch me on live. Catch me on live. How about that? Catch me on live. Catch me on live. How about that? Oh, my gosh. All right. I don't know if other so, people are saying that, but. I'm going to look here. All right. So it says 400 degrees. 400 degrees. All right. And then. There are so many times I just scroll away from a recipe before I figure out like the oven temperature. So I pretty much always wing it, but pretty much 350 for me is baking at 400 you're roasting. So depending on what you're doing. And of course there's nuances and times and stuff like that. But if you are, you're, if you're ever like me and you just scroll away and you forget the temperature on the oven, 350 baking, 400 roasting, you'll be fine. Check on it. It says um, paprika, but I can't find paprika. So we're gonna cut us up with some lemon and put on there too. Yeah. And I don't think the paprika would add too much to it unless it's a smoked paprika. Yeah, I think that's just for looks, ain't it? Yeah. 
I feel like there's a lot of spices out there that in the seasoning container, they're just so flavorless, especially since people will keep them in their pantry for long periods of time. Because in about six months, like those spices are no longer very good, you know, so they start to lose flavor over time. So I feel like like a Hungarian um, paprika is going to have more flavor because of the types of peppers they use. Our paprika, not so much. Mm. <laughs> I love that. Someone commented 375 broasting. Because <laughs> I said at 350, you're baking, 400, you're roasting. 375, you're broasting. Love it. Broasting. Broasting. So I'm going to kind of cut us up some lemons here. So what inspired you to do a uh, rainbow trout today? I walked in the Kroger's and I looked at the fish and I said, I haven't done rainbow trout yet. All right. I love it. It spoke to you. It spoke to me. Looked up a recipe and rolled with it. Right on. So let's add us some lemons to it. Some lemons. I mean, just this herby mix and lemons, any fish, this works. I'm trying to think of a fish where this wouldn't work. Mm. Hmm. Even shrimp, like a good little, this could like toss um, for shrimp. That would be really good too. Oh yeah, you could use this paste in a lot of ways. Beautiful. That's going to be so herby and delicious. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the gifts. I'm trying to figure out your name. Why your gal? Or W, your gal. I'm sorry. I'm just calling you your gal until you correct me. All right. Finger pairs. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the gifts, y'all. That really helps us out. We're at 10K likes. Thank oh, why? Uh, uh, okay. Thank you. That would have bothered me for a while. Thank you. Yes. 10K likes. We sure do appreciate it. A little bit here. Whew, we. Yeah, I'm really I, bad at cleaning until after. <laughs> Sorry. Man, I don't even like to clean after. I know. So now we're going to cut, fix us up some more pie goes. Well, how do you spell kids? Kids. K I D S. Kids. All right. So we're gonna. I'm gonna show you Drop all our pops real quick. I'm gonna dry off my. Try it off. Oh, it's appropriate tool. Then try it off. All right. Oh, I'm starting to worry. Somebody hasn't even shown up on here. It's just so pretty. So, and my mixture. You okay. can use sharp cheddar cheese. I use Parmesan. I use this shredded Parmesan. It would be fine. Sixteen. And so, I love use what you got recipes. Love it. Buffalo sauce. Okay, you can use um, this kind if you want. And shred you up some chicken. All right, I got some cream cheese in here. It smells good. Definitely can use this like a dip. My makeup looks nice. I didn't make it till it did. Till I did. Til I did. Yeah, but um, if you don't have that sauce, if you don't have buffalo sauce, but you do have that frank sauce, all you need is that and butter. And that's essentially what buffalo sauce is. There was one time I made buffalo chicken dip for a party, but I was in a hurry 
So I threw some chicken in a nine by 13, dumped a bottle of hot sauce and a stick of butter in there, baked it, got ready for this party, came out, whisked in some uh, cream cheese. Oh, Took like two minutes of my life. <laughs> I love buffalo and spicy sauces. Typically, it's with like a Frank's hot or like that a very vinegary Tabasco type sauce. But um, you can use any hot sauce. No one's stopping you from using the, you know, burn your butthole stuff. No <laughs> one's stopping you. No one's stopping you. Uh. I saw uh, at Walmart last night, they had... BW3's Buffalo Wild Wings sauces. Oh, wow. And I was like, huh, I have never seen that before. That is really neat. I didn't get it because nobody here is going to eat it. Right. I used to work with a guy that was a cook at um, Buffalo Wild Wings. And for the last season of Game of Thrones, they came out with like a dragon sauce for a limited time. And I missed it. He brought me a container this big of it. Y'all, my, um, my person is allergic to fish. And it was very sad to me that I couldn't fix fish or eat fish. Where is oh, my... Man. So what you're saying is to expect more fish content from you. Well, yeah. So, so, so while I'm not around them, I am going to be fixing fish. <laughs> get all the fish I can get. Yay. Do you know how to cut, cut and clean a fish? No. Well, Are you going to let them it. play it for you? I'm so scared to do that. Like, you don't even know. So I just cut it, you know. Oh, perfect. So I mean, you don't have to worry much when you're um, filleting a fish. You just got to make sure to remove all the bones so you don't kill someone. But really, no pressure. I know. And like, okay, so remember your grandma or your mom or a great aunt or whatever, and they would buy the canned salmon to make uh, salmon patties. Well, you have to remove those bones out of the canned salmon. And my mom, she would, she would... It was crazy. So your mom didn't do that very well, is what you're saying. No, she was very, like, particular and okay. had a magnifying glass out. She so she, sure. she struck you with the fear of bones. She struck me with the fear of bones. And so one time I was at a Red Lobster when I was older, and there was a bone in my salmon, and I was like, I'm going to die. <laughs> I actually think oh, yeah. I'm working on it to be honest. Which like working in kitchens, it is super embarrassing when you accidentally leave a bone in a fish. Like it's super embarrassing, but also it's kind of one of those things that just happens. Like we're humans, not machines. And even machines get things wrong. So Yeah. You know, like when when I when we were kids, you know, we ate watermelon with the seeds and we didn't spit it out. And we're all told you have to spit it out. And so now they make those seedless watermelons. But um, I'm still remembering a Rugrats episode from when I was little that came out where they were terrified of like the watermelon growing in your belly. I think I remember that. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember like very many TV shows from the 90s, but I remember that. And it horrified me. And I went on a not a deep dive, but I, I guess I Googled it recently. And it's just the fact that your stomach has um, so much stomach acid in there. Like, there's no way that it could harbor a good, like, growing condition. Yeah. But then I'll watch a medical drama where it's like, well, it accidentally went in the lungs, so. Yeah. Yeah, shut so up, Taylor. Tapeworms grow in your stomach. Do what? Tapeworms can grow in your stomach. Yeah, I not, I haven't Googled the science of that and, like, how they can survive and thrive, but also it's not something I like thinking about. <laughs> All right. But I'm, <laughs> yeah, there are still seeds in the seedless watermelons, but they're, like, the white, like, why are there different seeds? 
Huh. I've never thought to Google that. Corn. Passion fruit. Yes. I think we can tie this together and make another one. Oh, yes. I think so, because, like, that looks like one of those things where you would finish eating it, and then it's like, why didn't you make the rest? You could, you, yeah, you could actually like put the thing over it, like the little stencil over it, and use your fingers to press it out. If it's oh, it looks more than that. Never mind. Yeah, can you have to have seats, girl? Cause it's I, corn. Well, and even though some of us will look at stuff like seedless watermelons and we'll see that as like a convenience thing, like oh, cool, they grew this without the seeds for us. What they're actually benefiting from is the fact that you won't be able to take those seeds and grow it yourself. Yeah. Like that's an, like a lot of, um, it's where you get like seedless lemons and stuff like that. Like, yeah, it's a more premium product, but also you can't grow your own. So you have to go back. Oh, oh goodness. Stop. Rumble. All right, so we got our mixture here. Our mixture has rotisserie chicken. You can shred up your own chicken. We've got cream cheese, buffalo sauce, and I use Parmesan. You can use sharp cheddar. And look, I had a bone. Wow. Of course. Of course, I had a bone. Of course, because we were just talking use about a it. A little spoonful. Okay, yeah. and just top it up. I like the shapes. I like the half moons. Half moons. My now, lazy self would nuts. probably just like a little bit. Of but, but they cut the tips off pineapple, so you can't grow them either. I'm trying to figure out how that would work. Because I occasionally see a pineapple seed. Interesting. You know, all these theories oh, and things, it's just flat out hilarious to me. So we got five minutes till we look at our fish. Yes. Oh, make an eggplant parmesan for dinner. I haven't made that in a while. I am curious what else, oh, the tips. I am curious about what y'all are planning on cooking for dinner tonight, because honestly, I need some ideas. So let me know, please, in the comments. <laughs> I mean, you could go get some trout. I can't. Oh, okay. Oh, I love plants that do that. Thank you, Lori. That's awesome. I love plants where you can just like cut the top off and grow your own elsewhere. Because it's corn. I don't know why that's in my head, but it is. Because it enters in my brain every single day, like at least one time a day, because it was that catchy. So I Shame on them. Lori, when she was in here, I had um, watched a commercial where they had buffalo chicken empanada bites at Sonic. Ooh. And, um, yeah. So I thought I'd make my own. Yeah, and I'm thinking of the price breakdown of everything that you put in there. and Because you didn't even use an entire bottle of that sauce. It was just some of it. And one of those pie crust things are probably what three dollars and then that chicken was six yeah you could go to like chick-fil-a or wherever and just get some packets of buffalo sauce yeah there are places that have food mm, 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 mm. Uh, 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 mm. ah thanks lori i bought a pineapple yesterday but I'll, I'll be buying another pineapple soon. But I think mine has a middle. Make, um, chicken teriyaki with pineapple. Taco manicotti on food on Food Talks Cooking Club. That is a good idea. Ah, oh, I love that. I love like weird mesh of things that don't make sense, but they make sense. Because taco lasagna is a thing. I don't see how taco manicotti isn't amazing. You know, taco stuffed shells. Yeah. 
I love that. All right. So come on in. It's at 8 p.m. And how do you sign up for that? Is that something you go to the Food Talk TV website to sign up for? And it's uh, about fifteen dollars a month, I think, or twelve okay. dollars a month. Or... But it's like. I haven't been part of cooking club before, but it's like when everyone joins in on zoom and like cooks the same thing essentially, or is just learning how to cook it. So we got this here. We're going to freeze these. Okay. Oh, perfect. We already baked some and I'll show you the finishing here in a second. You would like to see someone do deep fried broccoli bites. Okay. With a mustard sauce. A mustard, honey mustard dipping sauce. So, um, mustard and broccoli is a very underrated combo. It really is. Horribly underrated combo, whether the broccoli is fresh or it's cooked. They're both brassicas, so they're in the same plant family. And their flavor profiles that they have are both, um, plant mechanism responses like a defense mechanism so they both have the same like it's a different taste but they go through the same chemical process to get to these bitter and astringent flavors broccoli not so astringent so yeah mustard and broccoli is so good okay so four dollars a session yeah that's awesome Man, um, I'm self-taught. Like, I never grew up with anyone that knew how to cook or anything. So basically, everything I know about cooking is from like reading or um, absorbing other people's content and stuff like that. And what I would have killed to like have those kind of things, you know, to go on a Zoom call, cooking something alongside someone else, and being able to ask questions as it goes. That's really neat. I need to join in sometime. Absolutely. Look how pretty it is. So pretty. And so we got a minute left on our fish, you guys. Oh, thanks, Penny. Pretty. So, so are you cooking pretty. these before freezing them, or are you freezing them without I'm cooking? These. Hmm. I'm putting them in the freezer so I can eat them. Oh, well, I'm not gonna eat them. I'm gonna give them to people to eat them. No, I mean, are you gonna cook them first and then freeze, or just straight up freeze? Straight up freeze. All right, on. Look the finishing touch. Yeah. I dropped one. Five second rule. Dropped one. Let's open it and see what it looks like. Just eat it. Just eat it. Oh, that looks ah. Uh, nose came out so flaky. Very flaky for pie crust. Yeah. Out of a can. Yeah. All right, let's check out our fish. They might be done. It looks done. It's a rum roll. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Definitely done. Perfect. Already? Oh, I haven't been live for an hour. I was here late. <laughs> and it is four minutes past our hour. And we really appreciate absolutely every buddy. It was a lot of fun. I'm enjoying that. You inspired me with some fish for sure. In here. I see you cooking some fish, huh? <laughs> 